Let me ask you this. Where do you like hitting the ball? Do you like hitting it up here, down here, maybe here in the mirror at the hip height? Now, I'm sure like 99% of you, you like hitting the ball here at the hip height, somewhere between the hip and the shoulder, right? So why do you hit that ball to your opponent? Why do you play a match and the only thing you do is hit fast and low, fast and low? You're giving the other one the shot that they like, the same as you. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna make you move, they're gonna hit every ball so comfortable, and then you're gonna go Monday, you're gonna go to your local pro and you're gonna be like, oh, I'm playing against this guy or this lady, she was so good, she was making me run corner to corner, whatever. They were not good. You were giving them the shot that they liked all the time. That's why they were good. You were making them good. So today, we're gonna work on one shot that is gonna force the other one to hit the ball lower. What's that shot? The forehand slice. One of the shots that most people don't know how to hit and never practice. So let's get into that. Guys, if you're gonna have a serve like this, well, actually, if you don't wanna have a serve like this, please go the first link in the description below, click on our free course. We are about to close it, so please go there, check it out, sign up. If you go there and you click and it's already passed because we closed it, put your email down and whenever we open it again, we'll send you an email so you can get there. Don't wait, sign up now. So important things for the forehand slice. First of all, what's the grip? The grip, like every slice, every volley, and all the serves is continental grip, remember. Continental grip for the slice, very important. If you have your forehand grip, the face of the racket is going to be way too close, it's going to be tough to get the slice. Now, I'm going to tell you a number one mistake that most beginners and amateur players do on the slides. They tend to hit with the face of the racket too open. They know that they got to open the face of the racket a little bit so they get this back spin on the ball, but they hit and they start opening too early the racket and they open it too much. So what happens is that most of balls, most of times the ball goes too high. So they hit, the ball goes too high, so what happens? That's obviously not a great slice. Actually, that was an amazing drop shot, but that's definitely not the shot that we are trying to work on. So what do you have to do? Number one thing, you gotta close the face of the racket. How does the racket look when you are hitting the ball on the point of contact? It should look almost fully straight. Even if you feel like it doesn't make sense, the racket is gonna be almost fully straight as you hit. It's gonna be slightly open, as you can see here, it's slightly tilted, but what is going to give the spin to the ball, it's also the motion from high to low, kind of getting over the ball here and then keep pushing the ball forward. So it could look something like this. And here I go from high to low and then I keep pushing it. Now, of course, if you want to keep the ball a little bit lower, what are you going to do? You're going to start tilting the racket more towards this vertical motion. If you're going to do the opposite, you feel like your balls are going a little bit too low or you are not getting enough spin. What are you gonna do? You're gonna tilt it backwards. So your ball is gonna start going a little bit higher and your ball is also might go a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna give you a few drills that you're gonna be able to practice by yourself in order to get the slice. So number one drill, we're gonna start feeling how to hit the slice, okay? The first thing that we gotta do is get the feeling of how to hit the slice. So what I want you to do is I want you to keep the racket in front of your body and from here, we're going to just focus on the motion going forward. So from here, we're just going to push the ball forward, opening the racket slightly on the follow through. So as you can see, I keep the racket on the same side of my body. I'm not taking it across. That's another of the most common mistakes that a lot of amateur players do. So racket in front of me, and I'm going to push the ball forward. Okay, racket in front of me, push the ball forward. You can see that's a slice. Now, that was a little bit high, right? I'm going to keep it a little bit lower. The racket is going to be a little more straight as I hit so here. Okay, I miss it to the net. Very good. I'm trying to adjust to that ball. <laughs> Sergey, shut up, man. What did I do? I missed it to the net. What am I going to do now? I'm going to open it a little bit more. I'm going to hit a great slice here. Boom. Look at that. Great slice. Try to adjust by yourself. If you go higher, start closing the face of the racket. If you hit a little bit too low, you miss to the net, start opening a little bit. You're going to be able to adjust by yourself. Second drill that we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit bigger the backswing now. So, you're going to keep it staying sideways. You're going to keep your racket back and you're going to keep it up here. So, make sure when you go up, the racket is going to be slightly open here. You don't want to have it fully closed because, of course, when you go forward, it's going to be harder to open the face of the racket. So, racket slightly closed and I'm going to go forward 
get a little bit under the ball here and then keep pushing it up. So racket up here, after sideways, legs are slightly bent here and from here. I go forward. You can see the great slice right there. So here, and I go forward. Okay, missed it to an eight. I'm gonna open a little more now. Here, boom, right there. I'm gonna do it a couple of times, a couple more times, so you can see it. Racket back here, freaking ball. Here, and forward. If I wanna go cross court, I'm gonna do the same, but pushing the racket a little more in that direction. Here, cross court, boom, right there. That's the second drill that you can practice by yourself. Let's go to a third drill. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna start in right position, we're gonna look forward, and we're gonna have to try to turn the body, step, and then do that follow through. So the only thing that we are adding at this part is the unit turn. Now, make sure when you turn your shoulders, keep pushing the racket with the left hand also. You don't wanna open here, or you will be opening, the, uh, opening your body. And it's gonna be much harder to keep your body close on the back swing. So here, we're gonna turn and hit that slice. So looking forward, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna hit that slice. Here, turn with the racket up, get under, and push the ball in that direction. So the same, keep adjusting, depending on how your ball goes, start opening a little bit more, start closing a little bit more the face of the racket, and get that feeling of the slice. So, as soon as you get that feeling, what are you gonna do? You're gonna start trying to look for a few more directions. So for example, what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna tell you to hit, one deep slice down the line and one short slice cross court. So we're mixing up a little bit the directions and we're also mixing up the pace, the pace and the length of those balls. So we're gonna start always with the deep slice down the line here. So you're gonna start forward, turn, you're gonna hit deep down the line. Now I'm gonna hit a short cross court and here I turn, short cross court there, trying to make the other one move forward if I can make it. Here down the line, I'm gonna go short cross court right there. We're gonna do it one more time. Let's see if it looks better now. Here, I turn, I go deep down the line, and here, and I go short, cross court. If I can make it, let's do it one more time. <laughs> here, let's go deep down the line, that's a great slice, I'm gonna make it this time. Here, turn, there you go. We're making the other one move, okay? So as you can see, you can, you can do different kind of patterns. You can do the same going, for example, deep cross court, then short down the line forcing the other one to move into the net with a back end. Most people don't like that shot, okay? So next thing, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna transition from you feeding the ball to a ball that is coming to you with some kind of pace and making you move a little bit more. So I send Sergio to the other side, he's gonna feed me a few balls, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make sure that I keep having the same technique on those 14 slices. So here, from high to low, trying to get it a little bit deeper. There you go, I'm gonna try to go also on the line, a few of them. Okay. Trying to go maybe a little bit shorter in some of them. It's not a drop shot, but I'm making the other one move in. Perfect. Deep cross court, very nice. Maybe deep down the line now. I'll try to go, to go short down the line maybe. Perfect. That's really what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a live ball drill that you're gonna do with your partner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Sergey, and we're gonna rally on the forehand cross court, but he's gonna hit his regular top spin forehand and I'm gonna go with the slice. So it's gonna be a little bit harder now. He's gonna give me more pace and I'm gonna need to adjust to every ball. So let's try that. Okay, let's, so let's see if I can beat Sergey with my slice. Making him move in, there you go. Killing Sergey with the slice. He doesn't like getting low. Oh, that was great. Pushing him back, right there, he doesn't like it. Now let's make him move in a little bit. Yes. There you go, no! It's starting to get tired, so I'm getting my goal here. I keep him back. I'm gonna make him move in. Let's see if I can make it this time. Yeah. Ah, yeah, get low, Sergey. Nice. I'm gonna move in. 
Yes, now I can pass him with the slide slope. I try the twinner, I know, but I'm gonna make him move in again. Oh, no way. Uh, uh, the slice works better than the overhead. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, free surf course. First link on the description. Sign up before it's too late. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, guys, let me ask you this. Where do you like hitting the ball? Do you like hitting it up here, here, or down here? Now, of course, everybody likes hitting the ball up here. Down, up here. Oh, fuck. Up, down, here. No.